So how much software engineering does a hacker need to know? So first of all, let's assume an ethical hacker or a, let's say a penetration tester or a security researcher. And the answer is probably way less than you think. <laughs> um, when I was starting my career, I immediately started writing software. I was lucky I got software jobs right out of the gate and then eventually ended up doing QA for a bit and then I went back to software development. And when I did QA, although knowing software helped, it didn't really, it didn't make me a super QA person. Like I, I thought I would become like the best of the QA, but it's actually a different skill set. And QA stands for quality assurance. And those are the people that test things. And it turns out some people have that mind for just looking through every detail and, and making sure every single thing is perfect. And so someone that does penetration testing, they need to know like a lot about, you know, how to test limits of things, how, like special things to look for that are quite likely to be there, where to look, stuff like that. Um, if you want to get into things like that, there's tons of amazing resources on the internet. And one of the, the best ones that is free, so there's lots of amazing ones, one of the best ones that is free is called the OWASP Application Security Verification Standard, ASVS for short. Um, and it is an 80 page Excel spreadsheet of really hard to do things, but if you learn how to do them, you're gonna be a brilliant pen tester. Um, you should also follow my friend Rana Khalid on Twitter, but I digress. Um, so basically you don't have to know how to do software engineering. You don't have to know the system development life cycle perfectly. You don't have to know 400 different languages. You just have to know how to mess with that software or mess with the hardware or whatever the thing is. So the better you understand the thing you're testing, the better you can do, the more experience you have testing, especially if you can learn from someone else that's more experienced, the better you'll be at it. But you do not need to be a software engineer. To do AppSec, it really helps to have built some software before and to know coding. But to be a pen tester, like it's, it's like having an extra tool that everyone else doesn't have, but it's not the thing, it's not necessary. It's not absolutely necessary. It can help, but it's not, you certainly don't need to know the entire SDLC and all the things behind software engineering and stuff. And you certainly don't need a little ring that says you're an engineer. So I hope that that answers your questions. There's tons of people that are pen testers that do know how to code or know how to write shell scripts and stuff but that's not the same as formal software development. And you don't gotta learn all that if you wanna be a pen tester. So hopefully that's good news for some of you. If you do know it, it's like you have a little extra thing in your arsenal and that's it. Have a great day, I'm Tanya.